I'm Christopher Hine, and this week we're talking about the importance of position and how uh, position gives birth to technique. So one of the unfortunate things about Aikido practices that's gone on is we've become very technique-centric. Uh, and by techniques, I mean actually the forms. So we've gotten very invested in the forms and, and uh, doing the forms, and we've begun to believe that Aikido is the form. So uh, if we don't do the forms, then we're not doing Aikido. Um, but that's clearly not true, and it, it, it's true from the founder's perspective as well. Um, he gave lectures saying that the techniques aren't Aikido, and that in fact Aikido at its highest level should be the spontaneous eruption of techniques. So, so doing a form does not mean doing Aikido, and, and so you know if you do Kodogaish, that doesn't mean you're doing the system of Aikido. Aikido has a systematic approach to conflict, and that systematic approach is um, independent of the forms themselves. Now, one of the big problems with thinking that the forms are Aikido is that thinking in order to do Aikido, to use your Aikido, you need to get in over to a position so you can do a technique. And so you begin to think that the positions are the, the children of the, the techniques or the techni or of the forms. So meaning I want to do this form, so that's why I go to this position. But actually it's reversed and understanding this reverse will do a lot to improve your Aikido. You need to understand that the position is more important than whatever comes off of the position. So the position is a tactic. It's higher up in the, in the strategic order of what we do than the technique is itself. So the technique helps us facilitate the tactic, which is this position we've taken. So um, this video is going to be, in, and we're going to do a few here this week, this video is going to be about how the, the position is more important than the technique that we do from it and how all the forms really come because of positions that we find ourselves in and not the other way around. So I'm going to get Josh out here and we're going to go through some of this stuff with you. Josh. All right, so we're talking about position in Aikido. Uh, the first position we have to understand in Aikido is the Hanmi position. Now understand the Hanmi position will naturally arise as my desire to take care of myself Happen. So I'm not getting into a Hanmi position so that way I can do a technique. I don't want to do a technique. This guy could care less about that. I just don't want this guy doing anything to me. Now, if we're here in this position, it's called Mu Hanmi in our school. It means without Hanmi. So um, what's bad about this position is if Josh and I were trying to find out who the toughest guy was, right? We're squared up to find that out. So meaning if I hit Josh, I hit him full force. Josh hits me, hits me full force, right? And so we trade until we find out who's tougher. In Aikido, it's a foregone conclusion. This guy's tougher than me. I know he's tougher, he's faster, and that's why I need to use Aikido stuff because he's just a bigger, stronger beast than me, so I need to be able to take care of myself. So the first thing I want to do is to vary my position, okay? So, meaning I want to get off to a slight angle. Now, the reason is because Josh still is making power most powerfully this way, right? So he's best at making power here. I'm not there anymore, but Josh still is in my power zone. So because I came off here, now I have a slight power advantage to him. He's not gonna stay there all day. So understand, this is always gonna be dynamic. I'm gonna move, he's gonna move. I'm gonna move, he's gonna move. What the techniques do is they help me maintain my position. So that's what they do. As he tries to get the new position, then the techniques help me keep that position that I have. So they're maintaining the position. If I come off to the side like this, this puts us in Gyaku Hanmi. Now that might be really hard for you to see. If I have Josh line up in a perfect Hanmi and I line up in a perfect Hanmi, now you can see this classic Aikido, how we practice, right? So really easy for beginners to see what this position is. But that really just comes from moving from a squared position off to the side, right? So Josh was running at me square and I came off to the side like this. Then, that, then what I'm doing here is I'm coming off to that, that uh, Gyaku Hanmi position, right? So I'm in a Gyaku Hanmi. Now, if I stepped off this way, this puts us in I Hanmi. Again, it might be hard to see, but if Josh goes into a real clear Hanmi, you can see we're in I Hanmi stance, and that just comes from me stepping that way. So when we're here, I'm gonna step over to the side in one of two ways. One of those ways is gonna lead me to Gyaku Hanmi. The other way is gonna lead me to I Hanmi. Now understand, the second I do that, Josh is dynamically going to be trying to change his position to improve it for him. So what happens there, right? So let's say I move off into um, an I hunt me like this, so I'm moving back here. Josh is probably gonna start coming to my backside. So like this, he's pressing into that backside. Now he has the eating me position, that's a strong position for him, so that's what he wants. Meanwhile, I would be trying to press eating me on him, so as he's coming to my back, I'm trying to come to his back. So we're always working this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now, how might that play out really quickly? Well, if we're moving around, so understand, this is never going to be static. You know, Josh, we're not going to meet like this on a field and then, oh, yeah, and then we're going to do some stuff. That's not what we're going to do, right? This guy's coming at me, and I'm coming off to the side like this, right? I'm trying to get out of there, and he's, he's improving his position. 
Now, while that's happening, and the, the technique I'll show right now is showman, just it's really easy to go through these. Um, as he's doing that, I'm probably gonna hit him. So he's coming in, I move up to the side, I'm gonna hit him like this, right? So bang, my hands are gonna come up like this to hit this guy because he's trying to get to my backside. So the first thing I'm probably gonna do is some kind of showman, yaku, yokuman position like that. If he brings his hands up to protect himself, which is perfectly natural, bang, we're gonna be here in this position, which is the shomenuchi position, right? So now we have shomenuchi, that's what we have here. So this is the classic position. Now, what's he gonna do from here? He's probably gonna start heading back here. So that's where he's trying to get, he's trying to get back to that position. So what do I do? I try to remove myself from that position. Now right here, I use an ikkyo to stop that from happening. I caught it underneath his elbow and I'm driving it. Now notice what this did. It took my back way away from him and I got into this nice ikkyo position. So ikkyo facilitates my good position and not the other way around. My good position doesn't facilitate the ikkyo. I don't care about the ikkyo. I care about having a good position, right? Okay, so we're here like this and he's coming in. Now what if as we're doing this, I can't control him. So he keeps coming around and I can't control him, can't control him, can't control him. So he's, he's, he's pushing me around, pushing me around, pushing me around. Another thing that happens here is Sankyo. So notice what Sankyo does. It immediately stops him from filling this area. If he walks into that area now, bang, the Sankyo sucks. Now we do have other options. So let's say my Sankyo is weak. I could use triangle position to get back out of there. But what this might do is buy me a few seconds when he's trying to haul over here and just stop him for just a brief moment. Now, what's he likely to do from here? Turn his back to me, because this hurts. When he does that, he gives me the Iimi position. So look, he just chose to give me the Iimi position by turning his back. Now, if you think applying Sankyo is the important thing, you think you just lost, because I'm not Sankyoing him very good right now. But instead of Sankyo, I got the better thing. I got the Iimi position, the dominant position there, right? So he chose to give that to me because he didn't like the Sankyo. So the techniques and the forms facilitate the position and not the other way around. All the Aikido techniques can work out this way. We could do it with Nikyo, we could do it with Sankyo, we can do it with all kinds of things. Because what I'm doing is trying to get to a good position. I'm not, I don't care about doing the technique, I don't care about doing a Sankyo. I care about the good position. From the good position, I'm again gonna start to read distance. Once I'm redistanced, then I'm winning, right? If I can get way ahead of this guy and get out of his ability to even know where I am, that's what I'd really like. But that's, that's the progression I'm always working towards. So I don't wanna get close to someone so I can do a technique. Who cares about doing Ikkyo to someone? I don't care about doing Ikkyo ever to anyone. But Ikkyo can help me keep them from hurting me, which is what I really care about. I'm Chris Fine, this is Josh Tihi, Aikido Fresno. Thanks for watching.